Hey everyone, it's Philip. Welcome back to another computer store vlog. So it's actually the end of the day right now, but I'll just show you some of the things that we were working on today. So one thing, there's not really much to show, but we're working on a PXE server so that when we get systems in, we need to make an image for backup and then restore it later. Uh, we can just do that right over the network without having to use CDs and flash drives. We use Clonezilla for that. So I can just show you real quick what that looks like. Okay, so we've got our lab bench computer here, so we'll just look at our remote desktop for this PXE server. And then we just have our status window. And then if we have our laptop that we're going to test with, we just turn it on. And then we'll just get into the startup options with F12, which uh, is the button on a Dell, but other brands might be something else. And on some systems, it might just default to network boot if there's no startup media uh, present. Alright, that's fine. And then, let's see. Well, it's not showing up, so I'll have to see if that's turned off in the BIOS or something. Okay. So I just had to switch it from um, UEFI to uh, Legacy, and then now it's showing Onboard Nick. So that's all you have to select. And then it's going to get an IP from DHCP, and get the TFTP information, and here's our menu. So we only have one thing right now. I'm testing out this app, this uh, PXE server bundle for Windows called Serva. So this is the free community edition. They charge for a professional edition, but I just want to make sure it's going to work before we end up paying for something. Or we might not even stick with this at all. Might go with a different product. Not sure. So anyway, that's what we do. Hit enter. And then it's going to load our Clonezilla. Okay, and then we're in. So that way we can access images that are on the server. And then here we go. This is our the only thing that's on there right now. It's the image for the Optiplex 790 that we uh, have from the auction. So whenever we have these things that we're getting ready, we just pop an SSD and some RAM in there, and then we can just restore our Clonezilla image over PXE, so it's really easy to get these things out the door. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Now that I have a little bit more experience getting that set up, I might actually try and just get it working on a Linux server, so that way we don't have to pay for anything, and also we don't need any special software or anything like that. You should be able just to get it running with TFTP, and I've got the configuration files from this, so I can kind of copy and paste some stuff, and then I'll just have to make the menus. So I think that will probably end up being what we do. So another cool thing that I'm trying to do, we've never really done much of system sales. We just have the uh, ones over here that we got from the auction that I'm trying to fix up and sell, but those are desktops, and I get a lot of people asking about laptops, and we've never had any before. All the laptops that we get in are just junkers that people want to get rid of. They give them to us to recycle, and they're not really worth anything, not worth trying to fix up because they're too old, and a lot of them have stuff wrong with them anyway. So I'm trying to find some on eBay that are a little bit older but still usable, so I'm looking for a criteria where it has to have at least a dual-core uh, hyper-threaded, so four uh, logical cores, um, or four physical cores, either way, and come with at least four gigs of RAM, come with the hard drive and the caddy, and come with the power, excuse me, and come with the power supply, um, and then not have any major damage or anything. And those are actually a little bit difficult to find, but I did find one, and it, it didn't come with the battery, so I had to order a battery, it was like $15, but that's actually this computer that I just showed you earlier when we were talking about the PXE stuff. So I got this uh, set up with uh, Windows 10 because it didn't have anything on the hard drive. And it's actually in really good shape. I like it a lot. 
and uh, kind of don't want to sell it, actually. But that's what it's here for. So we're going to try and see if someone wants to buy it. My goal, basically, is with the new store, I want to offer some things, since we have this big customer area now, I want to offer some things for sale. So we've got some products already hung up. I think I showed you that in the last video. Um, and then we're going to get a cabinet or a, a set of shelves that we're going to have some computers on, like a couple of those desktops. And I'm probably going to get a couple more of these laptops to set up and then offer those for sale. Try to do them, you know, relatively cheaply. Um, you know, if I can put, you know, the computer plus any add-ons and anything, if I can put like $80 into it and try and sell it for maybe like 150 or something, that's still a great deal for a really nice computer that's been refurbished and it's in good shape and it lets us make a little bit of money. Something else that we just got recently, I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I, well, I'll just show you. We got a new vacuum. <laughs> so we just had this little uh, red one that doesn't really do that great of a job. And uh, so I have this nice orange Bissell and it does a great job. We vacuumed the office and basically I had to get that because the, um, the new office uh, is a lot larger than this one. It's going to have more foot traffic. That little red one's not going to cut it. And we've had people in there working on some stuff and there's wood wood chips and ceiling tile dust and stuff all over the floor. So I'm going to need something to clean that up with. And, uh, you know, again, I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but that's my first real vacuum for the business. Uh, that other one was basically just to get by. So let's go check out the progress on the new office. I don't know how much has changed since the last time we looked, but here we go. Let me get a light on in here. All right, so we've got our door nice and blue, walls nice and white, and uh, access point is still up there. That's good. Uh, this door frame's been painted. This door, door frame, been painted. And then in this room, workers still have all their supplies everywhere, but this is the same. I don't think anything's changed. This was already pretty much done. Had the door, door frame. I know it's kind of dark, but the light switch is actually outside for some reason, so I'm not gonna bother. But that's that. And I think I showed you this already, but in case I didn't, this is the uh, kind of mock-up of how I want this uh, shelf to look. So we're just, we're just going to have this grid wall thing with uh, some products on there. Nothing too fancy, just a nice selection of common things that people might want. So anyway, it's uh, starting to get late. Like I said, it's already the end of the day. I was just showing you a little bit of a wrap-up. I'm going to close up the office, um, then we'll come back tomorrow, and we should have the battery for that Dell Latitude that we're trying to sell because again it did not ship with the battery. I don't know if it was bad or they just did it because of hazardous substance rules for the shipping carriers. But either way it doesn't have a battery so that'll be here tomorrow. I've got a BIOS update to do but it won't run without the battery in there. Um, what else? I don't know. We'll just have to see what the day brings. I might have a couple of remote support cases to do. Uh, I did have one today. Uh, it was a pretty slow day, but tomorrow we'll uh, see what's in store for us. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to keep up with the progress of the office and the goings on here at the shop, uh, just make sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a new video, which is kind of sporadic, so that might be useful. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.